everybody to Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. No, I told you, we're not calling it that. In today's episode, we're going to be unboxing an entire booster box from the Astral Radiance Collection. But what's so fun is that every pack we open, we are not keeping. We are, of course, sending to you guys, who will also be scoring points throughout today's game. As ever, guys, every single pack we open today does not belong to us, but rather our patrons over on Patreon, specifically those at the $15 Box Breakers tier. If you want to secure yourself a pack, head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. As you guys may have seen, we have put out a pilot episode of this show where we got so much amazing feedback from you guys, including we need a better overhead camera, which let me just show you. Look at this. Way, way better, better. Way, way better. better. Yeah, it turned out a GoPro wasn't cutting it. On top of that, we learned that at the bottom of the leaderboard, we just had a bunch of people with one point. So we came up with a bunch of fun and different ways to score points and make the game a little bit more competitive, including my new favorite thing that we just assembled this morning, the Wheel of Energy! Dun dun dun! Boom. How the Wheel of Energy is going to work is that in a couple of minutes we are going to spin the wheel. Whatever energy it lands on, if that is the energy card in your pack of cards, your entire pack will be multiplied by two. But on top of that, whatever energy card is selected, whichever type that is, every card inside of your pack that features that type will also give you an additional point. And on top of that, we are now going to randomly select from the set two common cards and one uncommon card. If any of those cards are in your pack, you also get a point per that card. Nice. But of course, the primary way to rack up points is through the rare card. Right, if you have one or sometimes two star cards in your pack, they will get points from the price guide over on tcgplayer.com. The way it will work is whatever the price value is, we will round up to the next highest dollar value and that will be how many points you get. It doesn't matter if you are one cent over that dollar value. If you have one dollar and one cent, that is a two point card. High value. Now, without any further ado, let's spin the wheel. Let's go! <laughs> What's it gonna land on? Boom! Lightning energy. So if you have a lightning energy in your pack, your entire pack gets multiplied by two, and for the entire game today, any lightning Pokemon will also be worth one additional point. Now we're gonna choose our common and uncommon chase cards for the day. Weirdly, there's, I think, 46 uncommon, but only 40 common cards that in is this odd. set. That is odd. So and fewer. It, so fewer, but they're and harder to get. Huh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Siri, could you choose a number between one and 40? 36? Hey, that's my favorite number. Hey. That's exciting. 40? Siri, could you choose a number between 1 and 46? 42! All right, we've run the numbers through our generator and determined that Yanma and Sudowoodo will be the common cards worth a point apiece, and that Wishcash will be the uncommon card worth an extra point. And now, I think, we can finally start opening some packs. Let's do it! Boom! Gotta go, gotta go extra fancy. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. All right, our first patron of the day, Dakota Ballantine. Okay, let's I'm see excited here. for Dakota because we do uh, gaming every month with Dakota. Yes. Yeah. So let's see how she does. Let's have the code card. One, two, three, four. Does she get the lightning energy? No. no. Eyeball energy. Is eyeball Luke energy. Call yeah. it. My son calls the psychic the eyeball energies. Yeah, oh, yeah, Mega, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, and the rapid dash. Rapid dash. Basically, guarantee you that's going to be a solid one point. A solid one point, but also we have on the reverse oh. hollow there, it is an additional star. So it looks like we're looking at about two points for Dakota to kick off the day. Next up, B Grim. Grimmiest. Be the grimmiest. All right, so I got you, B Grim. Don't you worry. I'm gonna play something really good. Yeah. Yeah. I went from the front. Would you go from the front? I would go I, from the uh, for the first one. Always go from the front. Always go from the front. All right. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Can we get that electric energy? Boom. We do not get it, unfortunately. So no point multiplier. <sighs> Nothing particularly good. We have the Magnazone and the Avalok. So another two-star pack. 
which okay. means you're getting at least two points. Six cents for the Avalug. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, very fancy. And 33 cents for the Magnus. 33 for the Magnus. So that's going to be good for two points for B. Grimm. Well done. Next on the table, Brant Classic. All right, Brant. I'm coming from the middle Going for you there, the Brant. Yep, I gotcha. So one of the weird things about getting that electric energy is I think there are like almost no regular electric Pokemon in this set at all, which is really weird. That is weird. There's so, like a few rare ones, but I think very few common or uncommon ones to get those extra <gasps> points. But there we go! But we will get a multiplier either way, even if you don't pull any extra electric cards. Scyther. Scyther, oh, my favorite Pokemon of all time. The Voltorb, the Glam Meow. Oh, boom, oh! oh! This is, okay, so this is pretty good because this thing is also a rare. So we have two star cards plus the multiplier. And Cleavor V. Cleavor V, yeah. So we have our first full art. Let's see if it gets us more than a point, however. It might still be pretty, un, pretty common. 92 cents. 92 cents, unfortunately, still only good for a single point. And the Registeel, I'm sure, is also only gonna be worth a point, which is two. But you get the Lightning Energy, so we're gonna multiply it by two, meaning that your total is at four points for Brant. The All new right. point system is the, totally working. It's totally working. Oh, big hitter coming up, Ben. We got Dola. Dola! I'm going from the front for Dola. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. smart, smart, smart. Yeah, all right, let's Very generous see. of you. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Dola is not going to have an energy. It has been replaced by the V-Star card, so no energy at all in this pack. Let's see how we do with the rest of it, though. Oh, I think we just have a single star card there on the Miss Magus, so that is going to be only good for one point for Dola. Sorry about that. Next up, Matt Cox. All right, Matt. Welcome to the game. Welcome to the arena. Oh, no multiplier. What's crazy to me is that we have not, oh, you got the full Ooh. art cleaver. I have a feeling that one's actually harder to come by than the cleaver V. That's really cool. Boom, and the adamant. So two star cards for Matt here. The question is, what is the value? So this is a trainer gallery card, so you might need the other list right, for the that. List. Yep. Yeah. Right. The adamant is worth 33 cents, okay. Well, that rounds you up to the one point total. And, and the cleaver is 84 cents. So our second full art cleaver of the day that does not yield more than a single point. So well done, Matt. You got a cool card coming your way, but it is still only two points overall. How about it? So, so far we've pulled none of the... Of the chase cards. Of, of the chase commons. The chase commons. Yeah, that's unbelievable because there's three opportunities for it. You would think throughout this entire box you'd pull multiples of each. You would absolutely think that. Well, let's see if Robbie Cruz can uh, get on the board with our next pack here. Robbie, at least give us, at least give us a common pull, man. All right, if not like something crazy secret rare. Take the lead by storm. Thus far, I think it's four points that gets you to the lead. Right, so it's, I mean, everything is within striking distance it at the moment. It is anyone's game at all. Boom, oh, no multiplier for you. Sadly, you got the grass energy. I see something, something shining through back there a little bit. You got a little glimmer glimmer. Let's see. So we do have two rares, the overquill and, ooh, the Garchomp. Garchomp. That's exciting, so let's see. Garchomp and Overquill. I think Overquill's probably gonna be worth like just the dollar, as ever. Garchomp is worth $1.24. Oh, so, that so that's worth two points. Two points. And, and then Overquill. Six cents. Six cents, wow. Super pack, almost takes the lead, gets you to a three points overall. Not enough to take the lead, though. Okay, who's uh, next? You've got Sammy San 88. Sammy San! Sammy soon. All right, Sammy. Someone is gonna absolutely break through and take a commanding lead at some point. It's, it's I mean, we're due, There's we're due. no doubt. We're due for a pull. <clears throat> Looking for that lightning energy. Oh, oh just the water. Just the water, okay. Mm -hmm. go. Another overquill, so we know that's just one point. And, and then, then the glacian, glacian. Which is also, also just, just one gonna point. Also just be one point. All right, better luck next time, Sammy. All right, next up, Stacy. Stacy. All right, Stacy. Give us something. Give us a common. Give us something. Give us the lightning energy. I'm, a, I'm, I'm craving some glimmer at the moment. Some you know, glimmer, we need know. we need some some, some big sparkle, shine. sparkle, shine, shine. Sparkle, sparkle. Some alt art. All right. Do we have the lightning energy? Oh, we, oh, do, we do. do. Oh okay. man, so that's exciting. So that's times two, no matter what. Right there. There's the duot, the jubilee, the Kalava, the rufflet. Ashra, oh, nope, Drift Glem, so that is just an uncommon, but, ugh, the Mighty Enna. So, 
that's going to be good for a solid uh, one point. But actually, this is a weird situation because it's one point, but it's multiplied by two. So it's still just... No, it's two points. It's then. two points. Yeah, it's two yeah, points. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, wait a minute, no. <laughs> wait, <laughs> math, I can math. 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 <laughs> Things times one. So easy. That was always my best on the math test yeah. back in the day. I remember that Whenever one. you had to do the, the times one multiplication tables. Super easy. Bryant Ward. All right, Bryant. I feel like this feels like, the pack feels heavy to me. It does? Yeah. yeah. A few extra grams in a few there. Extra, yeah, yeah. This Still not a single common or uncommon. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Oh, oh no Easter. energy at all. Samurai, that looks like a rare anyway. Oh, Ooh. the full art heat trend. That looks like the best thing we've pulled all day. It absolutely does. By Brian does. Ward. It, it's got the texture to it. It does. Ooh, that's pretty. My my nieces and nephews collect Pokemon cards, and what they love about the texture is that when they scratch them with their fingernails, they make noise. Oh, no. <laughs> and it, like, that tortures like, me to see it. hurts your soul. Like, please stop scratching your cards. Oh, my gosh. But it is what they love about it, so there is that. All right, so let's check out uh, number 165, and also the Samurai is worth an additional point. There, yes. so let's see how the heat train actually st stacks up. 282! 282. 282, that's gonna be good for three points plus the one from the Samurai. Well, double check the Samurai because it is a starter Pokemon, you never know. You never know. Sometimes those are a little more popular. Number, that's number 100. Number 100. 37 cents. 37 so it, is, cents, it is a so. solid, I mean, it's worth more than five. Sense. Worth more than five cents. Still good for a point, and the heat train was good for three, brings your total to four, and a tie for the lead. But then comes in Emerald Phoenix. I'm going for the middle. Oh, the middle pull for, okay. for old okay. Emerald here. There's really only so many different ways that we can pull something. Isn't well, there? yeah, I can you pull know. from your side, I suppose. You know, get real. You would not dare. Get real piratey about it. All right, can Emerald be the first person to pull a common or uncommon? We're just starting to see like extremely high point values at this point. Right. Right. Oh, the fighting energy. So no multiplier there. Also. Thus far, not a single electric Pokemon has made its appearance. Not a single all. one. I can't believe <laughs> I out of this set we we pulled or, the yeah the wish cash. Oh, there's you go. There's one point. Oh yes. my gosh, we've done it. The Basculin, the Puchiana, the Glamio, another. Oh, the Dialga V Star. I have a strong feeling Emerald is about to go into the lead. That's with a beautiful card. Origin form Dialga V Star. This is one of the uh uh it's the mascot of the set. So as you can imagine, I have a feeling it's worth a little bit. It's not the best card in the set. That's gonna be its brother, Palkia V-Star, at least competitively. But Dialga has won some big tournaments. There's it no is doubt. worth 12 points. It is worth 12 points. 12 wow, points. fantastic. Um, and of course, the Wish Cash is worth another one point for being the uncommon chase card of the day, which means we have 13 points for Emerald. Well done, sir. Next up, Lacey Nielsen. We've had two pretty good packs back to back now. I know, I know, I know. So now, I mean, you know, who- Back to pack, as they should say. As they should say. Yeah. And we get the electric energy, no. Oh, no. Still only two electric energies in the entire box thus far. The Pseudo Voodoo, that's there a point. There we go, that's a point. Bam, excellent. The Magnemite and the Mighty Yenna. Mighty so Anna. probably just two points there, I'm afraid. For old Lacey, it's 12 cents on the Mighty Anna. 12 cents on the Mighty Anna. I think the was doing more work than yeah. anything else. We have not pulled a Yanma yet, somehow. Now it's elusive. Now, yeah, no. Now it feels rare. Next on the board, Abby Mondin. Are you ready, Abby? I got your back. I got your back right here. Got your pack. Huh, there's right so many there. good. So many good ways to switch back and pack. Yeah, yeah. Turns out. Will you get the Yanma? That's almost what I'm looking for more than anything now. No multiplier on the energy, sadly. Zisu, Golduck, Rufflet, Ponyta, boom, boom, boom. Uh, do you have the double star? <gasps> and for the another <laughs> third different kind of cleaver you can pull from this pack, I think all of them are worth a single point, which is such a bummer, because they're an evolved form of Scyther. You'd think they'd be worth like 100 points or something, but y they're not. <laughs> you, you get think. points for being my favorite? It seems like that should that should come up. It yeah, worth, like worth a mighty nine cents. A mighty nine cents on the uh, the rapidash or the cleaver. The on the cleaver. All right, yeah, that's going to be. Yeah, it's also worth a single a two, point. A two point. I believe pack. there is still at least one more cleaver you can pull out of this set. I so, think you're right. <laughs> which is also not worth anything. All right, Ben, you've got Afro Punk. Afro Punk. There's your scyther hey, on top again. There's a scyther. Again. Another hundred. J points. <laughs> Honorary J points. Honorary J points. They won't win you the game, but... And with the lightning energy... No, unfortunately not. Still fighting, so... Psyduck and... Mm -hmm. 
Flemish! Oh, pff, what was it? Alivion. Oh no, I think that's going to be a very solid. That's a solid singular single point, point there point for Afro Punk. Which is you a shame as well. It. You know, mm -hmm. the Leafeon, all of the Evolutions feel like they should also come with their own additional point totals for just being simply awesome. There's no doubt about that. Okay, by the way, you might be wondering what happens if you have the most points. Well, for one, you just win the day, which is exciting in yeah. its own right. But if at the end of the season you have the highest point total, you'll get an entire box of uh, Astral Radiance sent to you from us. So there you go. Something to play for. Yeah. We realized we didn't say what our grand prize was. What are, I, I was like, what, what are we doing this what for? What are we playing for? What do we do? All right, next up, Aiden Rudinirus. Now that now that Aiden knows what he's playing for, right, you right, got to yeah. think maybe he's like, I'm going to still my game up some. Right, right, right. Yeah, kind of like, kind of like twisting your feet into the gravel, so right, to speak. Right, like, okay, I gotta, I'm going to sit up and try and pay attention to this video game all of a sudden. You ever do that? Like, okay, I'm, I'm not leaning back anymore. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. That's how you it's know. like when you turn the music down when you're trying to find that street sign. Exactly, like, I can't think. <laughs> I got to I gotta focus here. Okay, so Aiden has the fire energy, so no multiplier here. Still no Yanma in the entire set thus far. It only or won. electric type. <laughs> or electric type at all. And, and another Levion! Oh wow. What an embarrassing pack for Aiden. I'm sorry. I guess my pep talk of a our offer of a whole box of cards did nothing to spur you on. Aiden caught the yips. Yeah, caught the yips, caught the yips. So that's gonna be a single point for Aiden. Better luck next time. Next up then, Alyssa White. Alright, Alyssa. If you pull another Leafeon, so help me. So, wow. I'll I be mean, done with the show. Guys. That's it. You got it. Well, we're shutting it down. We expect high competition on the show, and if all you're going to be bringing is Leafeon to the table, it's no good. It's no good. This isn't Evolving Skies, after all. Yeah. If it, now, if you had Evolving Skies Leafeon, that's a whole different table. All right, so there's a water energy, so no multiplier on this one. Ooh. Oh, there we go! Trainer Gallery Gardevoir and could there be something exciting GGI behind five. it? Could be no, no. It is. it's the Cleaver. Cleaver. Well, 100 J points, which don't count for anything, but the Gardevoir might get you a few more than just um, one point. Dollar thirty-two. There we That's go. That's going to be two points plus the Cleaver is one for a total of three for Alyssa. Bravo! You have at least a very cool looking card coming your way. There you go. All right. Next up, we have Andromeda 192. Thanks for your support. Does it help when you zing it out like that? Zing it out. I think so. Right. Give it a little flick for luck. Flick for luck. I'm gonna really flourish this one. You should. I'm gonna. Like oh. Then I can already tell you something exciting is the Yanma has been found at long last. Oh my goodness. Well done, Andromeda. For nothing else, you've got a. Uh, you've done that. So let's see. Let's go. I, I'm going to shuffle it back now. Boom. Oh, for a second I thought, could it be? Could it be? It would have been, 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 been the most valuable Yanma in the history of the deck. Everyone would have been like, no way. <gasps> the Radiant Greninja. Now that's exciting. That is a beautiful card. I love this card. And it is so good. It is easily the best Radiant card they have printed thus far competitively. It is everywhere. It is so powerful with Palkia and with Mamoswine, which is not going to be very good at all. But how does the uh, Radiant Greninja shine up for us, points-wise, it is number 46. 46. So the thing with any card that's ever competitive is it does typically increase values at least a little bit. Now, so. the tricky thing, though, about the Radiant cards is that the pull rate on them is about one in eight packs will get you a Radiant card, and unlike other cards, you can only run one in your deck, so you only ever need one. Interesting. Meaning normal, that even though very competitive, not really hard to get. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Because a typical play set for any one card would usually be four. About right? four. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Radiant Greninja comes in at three dollars sixteen cents, so giving you be four points. Four, well, yeah, four points plus the one from the Mammoth Swamp, which there means Andromeda goes up to five. Five points. Not a plus bad. Oh, plus the Yanma. Oh my goodness, you are right. Six. Six! Wow, that's, I think, good for second place. And didn't even have a lightning energy. Didn't even have, imagine. Someone's gonna really capitalize on that at some point. Can you imagine if the lightning energy comes with like a rare alt art and someone gets like a, yeah, like like a an 80 point multiplier. card plus two? Yeah. Well, maybe it will be Annika Martin. You think we're due for another lightning energy at this point? It does feel so. Or Pseudo Wudo, or Wish Cash, or just a single lightning type. Uh, it's a single lightning Pokemon of any kind. <laughs> One, two, three, four, flip to the back. Ah, oh, okay. Mm, no lightning. The pseudo, pseudo that's a point. Buddha, that's a point okay. right there. 
Krikatot, and Flourish! Oh, uh. the Reggie Drago. So I think we're going to end up with two points there for the Reggie Drago and the Pseudo Wudo. Really, the Pseudo Wudo coming in clutch on that one. Really for is. Us. Really helping people get those extra points here and there. All right. I've got Aerofell on the table. Come here from the middle. Feels about right. Aerofell sounds like a town from Game of Thrones. It kind of does. Have you you've ridden here from Aerofell? From Aerofell. Yes. I rode all night to be here to tell you, my lord. All right. Do we have a lightning? Oh, we do not have any energy of any kind because we have a V-Star and that will replace the energy in any given pack. We have a Duat. Yeah, and Mega, not the Yanma, so not as good. Apparently more common, too. Canceling Cologne and Ursa Luna. Wow, uh, Canceling Cologne. What a name for a card. Wah. Can you imagine if you bought something called Canceling Cologne? Like, I'm going out and I would like to smell like canceling. I'm wearing it right now. You're wearing it right now? Yeah, I'm wearing some Canceling Don't Cologne. Don't get canceled, Ben. We don't need that. Ursaluna, I feel pretty certain is going to be worth a singular point, but Ben, you can double check. I will double check. We'll I'm betting it. under 10 cents. 11 cents. Oh, I was wrong. Shows what you wow. know. Okay, my bad. That's what you get for underestimating them on. <clears throat> I guess so. Beck Squad, you're Bex up. Beck Squad, whole squad. Come whole on. squad. As a team, I like to think that this is like a family of Becks. A family of Becks. You know? Beck one, Beck two, Beck three, Beck four. You think it's four? Could be five. At least they're, yeah, five, yeah. Why not? Oh. oh! I can't believe there's only been the two lightning thus far. Okay, are we ready? Lava. <laughs> Toga kiss. So it is a holographic, it is a, though. It is a hollow. It right. is a hollow. So that, that comes in at number 57. Let's take a peek for the value. While Ben looks that up, you guys might wonder, do the reverse hollows count for anything extra particularly rare? And they do not. Um, they are just going to be treated like regular cards. So even though they are harder to get, they are not worth anything particularly different. But you will get them anyway. So, was it worth just one point for the Togekiss? Just one point. Just one just for Beck Squad. Well, Y'all can divvy that one point up amongst the five of you, I guess. Or four. Or four. <laughs> Hope everybody goes around the house parading their point two to point two five points. Right. Benjamin Agassi. So sorry, I'll be opening for other Ben. So, yeah, it feels like it's only right for me to open up for well, Ben. Yeah, this is how the way this is the way it um, shook out today. You mean to tell me that Ben chose you? Yeah, that's right. It seems unlikely. Yeah, well, does it? We'll see what I pull for him. So, let's see. I Lightning energy. It. I can already feel that for sure. Ready? Boom! Oh, uh, that would have been great. It would have been great. You had so much confidence. <laughs> yeah, you know, you just gotta go for the gusto sometimes. Uh, no multiplier there. No for this one. Yan Mega again. How have we pulled so many Yan Megas and just one Yanma thus far? It is unbelievable. I can't. I, we should have made them worth like a lot more. A lo yeah, maybe we should. The switch card and uh, the feeble. Okay, maybe Ben. Uh, I don't want to say you were playing bad, but you probably should have picked other Ben to pull for you instead of me because this was just an abysmal pack. By the way, yeah. that's a single point. I'm pretty Fe sure. Evil might be the least valuable card that we've pulled so far at a whopping four cents, four but it cents. still gets you one point still anyway. One. Congratulations, Ben. Better luck next time. Bravo. At some point, people are absolutely going to have like favorites about who pulls their card. It's true. Yeah. I almost even wonder if we should allow people to decide if they want from the front, back, or middle. You know, so I mean, we can, like we can be like pulling for them. <laughs> who we got next? Brianna, Brianna Bouchard. All right, Brianna. It's still a very manageable 13 points to overcome for the lead. It does feel that way. Yeah. But it felt like such a big deal when we got those 13 it did. points. Yes. I don't feel like we pulled a lot of like rare full art cards out of this box though. And I would say out of all the out of all of the boxes that we've opened, there's usually between like seven and nine full arts at, at least. At least. So we should have a lot left to come. So fighting energy, so no multiplier there. Oh, there's the pseudo, oh, pseudo Rudo. Rudo. Okay. All right, we'll take that. Pretty solid. The Ralts and <gasps> the uh, Mammoth, Mammoth Swine. Swine. Okay. Pseudo Rudo coming in hot again for another extra point on there for Brianna. Otherwise, our number 33 is going to be worth a whopping nine cents, which rounds you up to one point. Still better than the Feeble. Still, right? Right? All right, I've got. Bree live on the table. Or Bri. Back. Bri. I'm going for the back. Bri. Bri Bri. Bri. Old Bri Bri. Me and Bri Bri. Bri Bri. I'm gonna score high. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. It's score good because it rhymes. Yeah. Things that rhyme are always true. 
That's what they said in the Lego movie. Oh! The there lightning we... energy! Okay. Now, I feel like we're due for a good pull, it feels like, and now we have the double multiplier on there. So let's see. Can we make it happen? We have the Hippowdon, the Drift Blim. The oh, Yamma! Yamma! Oh, and the Full Art Bronzong, and the Bastiodon. So we have four scoring cards in this pack. That's exciting. Will it be enough to take the lead? We're gonna. Let's see. I'm, I'm feeling like that Trainer Gallery number 11 is the one to watch out for. I let me think check, so. Let me check the Bastiodon Let's check. First. We haven't had that one yet. Likely worth just the single point, but possibly as many as two, if I had to guess. Bastiodon? How do you yeah. pronounce it? Yeah. Yep. It's gonna be worth one point. One point. So we got two points for the Yanma, but then Trainer Gallery Bronzong? 95 cents! Oh no! Which so means three points, together. but times two, because of the lightning energy, brings us to a whopping six, six points. points. Well still done. competitive in today's lineup. I know, up. there's no doubt. That's still very competitive. All right, well, good job. It's probably the most exciting pack we've pulled thus far. And you still have some very uh, beautiful cards coming to you in the mail. All right, we've got Chris Ray. All right, Chris. Check for that lightning Check energy. For it. And Ooh, the metal. There's another side. Another side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, there they are. They're coming in hot all the, of a sudden. The Braviary, which will count for at least yep. a point. Yep. And, and the Miss Magus. Mm -hmm, yeah. So it looks like a three point pack. A if three I had point to guess. pack. Yanma coming yep. through clutch for us. All right, I've got Jade Culture on the board. Going from the middle. Let's see how it goes, Jade. Can we get another lightning energy? We've only had three. There's 36, there's eight kinds of energy. Right, so we could, you could pull conceivably like four and a half. It seems like there should be about four per box. Ready? Ooh. Oh, the fire energy. All right, let's see. We have the canceling cologne again, which Ben is of course wearing right now. The Basculon, the Pucciana, the Glamio, and Ch oh, oh! oh, the origin form Palkia V. Now, it's not the V-Star, but the Palkia V, obviously you needed to play the V-Star, and this is probably the most powerful card in the game right now, or the evolved form is, so very, very competitive card. Let's take a look at Let's the value. Let's see how it affects the value, though, because it is just the V. Okay, so it does come in at $7.54. All right. Awarding eight points Eight total. points for Jade. Well done, and you know, maybe you can make a deck out of it or something. Get, you're started, you're on your way. You're on your way. You can do it! So there's a different version of that same Palkia worth 25 points. Pretty impressive. Yeah, we've opened a lot of boxes of Astral Radiance at this point. We have never pulled that card. So if we get it, I'm just going to be excited that I'm holding it. I know, yeah, just to, yeah. Be, just to be in its presence. Just to be in its presence. All right, there you go, Ben. You get wow. Sorry, I pulled. Wow, I am so sorry. I wouldn't presume to pull a pack. Especially for, for Kimberly you. Lee. For Kimberly Lee. Okay. And again, it does feel heavy this time. Yeah, you have the grams it's, on there. It's got, I got the grams. My hand scales. Can we do it? Flourish! Oh, no, just no. the dark. It wow. does, it really, you know, I like this this element of the game, though, because yeah. it makes the energy card that much more fun. Yeah, otherwise, energy's so boring. Oh, the, the wish cash! cash. There, there we there, go, there, that's there, the, the point. point. We haven't had a, a single pack where someone has gotten more than one common uncommon. All right. Growlithe and... Growlithe and... The oh, Regidrago. Man, wow. I thought for sure it was a heavy pack. Nope. It was just that wish cash you were feeling, just that, man. That's it, that's it, yep. You were just being so, wishful. Two points on that one. Two points for Kimberly Lee. Lauren Alexandra, a.k.a. Bubbles, a.k.a. Bubs, a.k.a. Maybe our lawyer someday. We'll see. Who's Doc, say? Dr. Bubbles. Is Dr. Bubbles. You're yeah, right. That yeah. is official now. It's, no, it's Bubbles no. Esquire. Bu yeah, oh, even better. Bubbles Esquire. Let's see if your lawyering skills translate to pulling rare cards out of Pokemon Pass. <laughs> it, se it seems like it I would mean, make a difference. right out of the gate, Yanma. Yanma. So there you go. You got that. But do you also have the electric? No! Oh! oh! Bubbles Esquire. Let's see. So there's the. Oh! Oh, look at this! Okay. And the wish cash. So we're at least at four points. So for we're this. at least there. Can Bubs do it? Can Bubs do it? The Basque Legion. That is also a rare card. And the Overquill. So I'm thinking those are all basically just a single single point, point value each, but there are four of them <laughs> times two with that lightning energy gets a whopping eight, eight points. points. So, so I, I must just applaud Bubs here for a very strategic play. There's no doubt. Making the best 
of a medium situation. Absolutely the best of a medium situation. The first person all day to pull more than one of the bonus chase cards. Very And impressive. combining it with their bonus multiplier, that's, that's smart. That's smart play right there. Linwood! You're on the table. All right, Linwood. It's gonna be hard to, I mean, can you be more impressive than last round? Can you possibly find a way to make two grown men more excited over a lightning energy? <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. It could be a gold lightning energy. I don't think that's available in this set, but. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Oh man, what would. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Oh, with the water energy. The right water. The top. A heavy ball. Burr! Oh, oh. I mean, it's a holographic Decidueye. We haven't pulled it yet. Right. I mean, it is a starter Pokemon. And the reverse that's holo exciting. is also a star, so, so we're going to have at least. A minimum two points. There we go. So number 12 and number 82. I'll I suspect the Decidueye. Not going to be raking in those points. 22 cents. A solid 22 cents. But you will, of course, still get the cards in the mail to admire and enjoy. Now, Ben, next up on the table, we have a crowd favorite. Mots Feruli. Mots. M. Dot Fur, as he is known in the fandom. In the fandom. Yeah, no doubt. Here we go. But how is he at pulling Pokemon cards? It's hard to say. You know, if it had been a psychic energy that had been the multiplier of the day. Yeah. But it instead it was lightning. <laughs> <The psychic. laughs> if only. If only it had been psychic, you guys. Uh, I've, I've, if it had been anything other than lightning, so many people would have more points just on the type of Pokemon. I, that's what I was saying. Yep, yep. Astral Radiance has like no lightning Pokemon. In Famously it, few. Famously few. I think it's just the Luxray V. So I don't know if there's any common or uncommon cards. So that'll really come into effect on a different episode. In, oh, the Leafeon, Mott, What are you doing? At least it's, it has the decency it to, be to be reverse hollow. hollow. Oh and my the goodness, I love the Sneasler. Yeah. 93, and let's see here. So we know the Leaf Yawn's worth one point. We'll double check that Sneasler's not worth, oh, it's got, it's got a nice holographicness to it. It's worth one point. Worth one point, I had to be there. Megan Stevens. Welcome to the game. All right, Megan. 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 I wonder if people named Megan just hate Drake and Josh for that being a thing. I I bet so. I bet they do. Or they love it. Goodness, another Scyther. So you get 100 honorary J points, which are worth nothing. Which are worth nothing, but. Uh, as well as your, no energy your, your, your at all. V-star oh, energy. No. Oh my gosh. That's unfortunate. Something shiny back there, maybe? No, I don't know. The Decidueye, we know that's Decidueye. one point. And, and uh, the Ursaluna, which we also know to be worth about 11 cents, if I recall. Because last time I thought it was less than 10, and I was wrong. Sorry, Megan! Megan! I'm feeling good about this one. It's Moss Twig. Moss Twig! Moss Twig! We're now to our final six packs of the day. We're getting close. Getting close. Has, is, I don't feel like we've pulled like that big gold secret rare something yet. You Which know? means it could be this it pack. It could be this pack, or maybe there's just nothing in this pack. But we've been pulling from like all over the place too. Not sure if that affects anything, but you know, it could be in here. Who's to say? It's not a lightning energy, it's just the water, so no multi- Oh, there is something back there, man. I can uh -oh. see it peeking you, you through. You can see it? Okay. I can see okay. it peeking through. Will there be anything other, any extra points? Oh, here we go. Boom! The Trainer Gallery Zacian V. Zacian, such a popular Pokemon. That's so cool. And the Rapidash. So, uh, that's obviously just one point. The question is, what is the Trainer Gallery Zacian V worth? $11.83. There you go, it's a 12 point card. Whoa! Plus the Rapidash, that's gonna be a 13 point pack right there. Imagine if they've had the lightning multiplier for Moss Twig. I told you Moss Twig came to play, man. I, you were not wrong, you were not. This is really a beautiful car. Zacian it's, is such a, that, that is yeah. such a, that's such a neat. I, when I when they first revealed Zacian with like the sword in its mouth, I was like, that's so lame. But like, anymore, I'm like, it's so cool. It's a, it it's grew totally, on totally me. grew on me. So well done, Moss Twig. You're in 13 points. Is that a tie for the lead? Yeah. Tied for How the lead! That? Wow, just like that. Out of nowhere, you think you have a safe lead, and then... And then, twig. and then... Next on the table, Rosalind Goddard. Now, it feels like after we just pulled the second best pack of the whole day... But it was a trainer gallery card, so it, like, yeah. it wasn't something that specifically felt like it was gonna have that much extra gusto. Four... Reminds me of Jimmy Neutron with the Goddard. 
Oh, you're right. Yeah. Goddard. I hadn't thought about that in a long time. The robot dog. Can we Three. get the electric? Oh, oh we, we do have it. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Okay. All right. All now right. is the time to strike. You need but a, what, seven point card to take the lead. Right. Right. There's your side there again. again. 100 J points times two. So 200 J points. Good for you. Again, worth nothing. Worth nothing. But, you know, the memories. Okay. Ready? Ready? Three, two. One. Flourish! Flour the Registeel. Wow, wow, that's just a, that's offensive. You really hate to see it. <laughs> you so hate to. So unfortunate. You that's pull just... the lightning energy, you only get the single extra point out of it. That's like a rookie going down with an injury after a star play oh. in their first game in the big league. Boy, boy. RG3. RG3. Look, first at, it. Look at you, Robert. Yeah. Rosalind Goddard as they're also, RG. <laughs> Hey! What do you know? <laughs> what do you Rosalind know? Rosalind Goddard, a.k.a. Robert Griffin III. RG3, as far as I'm concerned, henceforth and for always. Yes, that's right. We will be calling you RG3 from... RG4, I guess, probably. R even right? better, RG4. Simon Percher, you're up next. <laughs> SP? It's not the same. I have faith in you. We haven't had a Yanma or a Wishcash or a Pseudo Wudo in quite some time. I really thought that was going to be such a... Uh, such a difference maker for people. I know. You got the I dark know. energy for Simon. Sweet honey. The pseudo Oh, There we go. You, you called you it. it. Yep. Called it. The Nick of the Typhlosion. That's going to be a rare card. And the Avalog. So that looks like a three point pack. Well, I don't think we've had a Typhlosion yet, though. So if you want to look it up, just we'll to double, double check. Double check. We'll it's a starter. All right. So the Typhlosion is going to be worth 35 cents. 35 cents. Pretty, pretty solid. Yeah. There you go. That's going to be a three-point pack for Simon. Three packs to go, Ben. Tyler Seigel. Si Sigel? Seigel? Sigel? Sigel? Sigel. Tyler is up next. Tyler! Scyther. Scyther again! I'm starting to get a little annoyed with the Scyther, if I'm being honest points. with you. <laughs> it does seem like somehow Scyther and Cleaver became a bit of a meme in this episode. I believe so. I feel... Oh! Did you see shimmer? I can't tell if there's something shimmering back there. No lightning not. energy, unfortunately. Okay. okay, let's see here. We're in the bottom three packs, though. So it'd be very exciting if someone, like, slammed ahead for the lead just at the last second. I know. There's the uh, Cricket there's tune, tune and... Oh! oh! The Verizion V. I don't think we've pulled that That's a, That is also a beautiful really card. Really pretty really card. Really like the, the greens, yeah, the love pinks, the, pink. the yellows. That's awesome. Man, let's see. So it's let's full see. art Verizion V. Let's it's check. number 164. Let's and then the Cricket tune is not a rare card, so it's just the Verizion that's scoring points. But no multiplier. Yep. It is worth $3.56, so a $4 card. $4 card! There you go! That is not bad! Plus, I have to say, maybe the most beautiful card we pulled all day. That's just, that's just pretty. Quite potential, that. possibly. Ooh. Sometimes simplicity is where it's at with these things. Absolutely. All right, now we have Vincent. Do we have Lightning? No, we have Grass, so no multiplier for you, Vincent. Sad to say, Cracking Shoes, very good card. Going to the Yanma! There we go, that's worth a point. point. There. The and Sudo Wudo! Uh-oh, we have the classic Bubbles Esquire strategy, except no multiplier. So the Decidueye and the Vespiguin. So almost pulling off the same move almost. as and that, Bubbles. And yeah, very, very similar strategy yeah, you right. see being played here. Just simply missing out on... Couldn't land the multiplier. So a hopping. A whopping four points for Vincent. We have two people left. Cameron Sherpa. I would love it if the very last pack was also the best one. Wouldn't that be something? Like, that's going to happen someday, and I can't wait for it. Maybe that day's today. We got Pseudo Wudo right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. For so Cameron. At the very least, let's see if we can uh, get that multiplier with the... No. <gasps> no. The Boy, again, the eyeballs, though. They're everywhere. They are everywhere. Mm-hmm. Really, there's the Pseudo Wudo, so that's one point, point, right? Yeah, yeah. The Ralts, okay. the Sneasel. The Barboach, the Temple, oh. mm, the Shaman. Mm, that's a shame. In, <laughs> in it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, so we got two points there. So we got two points the, there. Thanks to that pseudo Wudo. All right. Now we are down to our very final contestant of the day, Yael. Welcome to the final pack. Can you feel it? Give it a little tap for luck. Boom, boom. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna have to put some serious flourish on this one, I think. Extra, extra flourish. Extra, extra. Because who knows, even though it's the last pack, doesn't mean it can't be the best pack in the whole thing. It could also, could we get the lightning? Are you ready? Oh, it's oh. just the water. Oh, sorry, Yal. 
here we go. I'm gonna try and really make sure we can't see the back there through the magneton. The Roxanne. Side duck and oh, Drago. Oh, oh, sort of anticlimactic, a, anticlimactic yeah, finish for yeah. Yael with just a, a single point. I'm afraid because Chow not yeah not rare. Sadly, no multiplier. Goodness me. Well, Goodness me. There well, you thanks go. for playing, everybody. There you go. So it was it was really like a competitive race at the top of the spectrum today with. <coughs> Our two leaders being tied at 13 points. Yes. yes. So Mostwig yes. and Emerald Phoenix. Emerald Phoenix both right. sitting there in that top spot. So that's a really good position to be in at the start of the season here, where each month we will have a box dedicated to this particular group of patrons. Right. And each box that gets opened uh, for three months will contribute to your overall season total. Right. Where the overall points leader will be receiving an entire booster box. Yes. Yeah, so that's a very exciting prize plus obviously if you're the winner you've gotten some pretty good cards as well along the way that's true too you know? that's true too <laughs> so the winners get the rich get richer as it were <laughs> For competitive gameplay reasons only. Yeah. Um however I will say today it was very interesting that we happened to land on the lightning energy card yeah. for the round because we did not have any lightning energy Pokemon not at all the entire box. Not one. So you know, you you think if the if the next time we do this, if we land on like grass or something, I mean, how many scythers did we see today? So many scythers. So many. All of those would have been worth the points. So you can see how in future rounds, as long as we don't land on lightning or doing a different set, you can really start racking up points with just those uh, by the spin of the wheel. But hey, that's just how the wheel goes. That is just how the wheel goes. Mm -hmm. It is, after all, at the end of the day, an entirely strategy-driven game. It absolutely <laughs> is. We saw some really good strategy out there, especially by Bubs Esquire, who uh, you. Utilized her lightning energy to uh, Very score a solid eight points. I would, I would, I would call Bubs the MVP of the day. In fact, there's no doubt. Who, who play, probably best play, but not the highest score. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Most impressive. We'll be on the highlight reel for sure. For sure, we'll play it right here. So I'm thinking those are all basically just a single. Single point, point value each, but there are four of them. <laughs> Times two with that lightning energy gets a whopping eight, eight points. points. As ever, guys, if you would like to have your own pack of cards opened, we do have three additional video slots in total that we will be producing as long as there is the demand in order to do so. Uh, so if you'd like to sign up, it's at the Box Breakers tier over at patreon.com slash Gaming. Thank you guys so much for making this show possible. Can't wait to film the next one already. Until then, bye! bye.